Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otsusti, and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. And last time we did, uh, we managed to do a pretty successful game. Uh, we did, uh, we, we researched some technologies. And the first goal here, I think, is uh, sending some of our employees uh, on vacation so they are well rested. Then we can do another game, hopefully successful as well. And then I'm thinking some more technology research and uh, a new game engine. So... Let's do a new game. Let's pick a topic first. Scroll down all the way to see do we have something here. Um, I think we did a fantasy one, right? Um, game history. Yeah, fantasy was the last one, so we will choose another topic. And I came across an interesting article um, about gaming, um, which basically pointed out that uh, violence in games is not not that troublesome but sex is so let's try something and uh, make a major game romance um, and let's be a bit cheesy and let's call it a turn on and we make this an rpg game um, We will focus uh, on uh, PC and an adult audience. So that's probably not uh, a game system from Nivendo, but maybe the, the play system for which we have to buy the license and the uh, M box. And of course, we will uh, take our newest engine for what it's worth. Yeah, I think let's let's do a, a 3D graphics. I thought you were on vacation or had been on vacation. Apparently not. So let's. Do that right here at the start before we go into a, a full swing. And yeah. Well, maybe multiplayer not so important here, but video playback, that could be a, a, an interesting touch here. Um, because uh, the article also mentioned that uh, while violence is something that's uh, abstract for uh, uh, most gamers, so they don't have first-hand experience to compare it to, uh, it's easy to abstract. So uh, a, a, a click on a button or an, on a controller does not really relate uh, to the actual action of uh, blowing someone's uh, head away. Um, while with uh, uh, sex and romance, everyone has uh, has a, a, a has a has some kind of personal experience um so the the relation or the abstraction is uh, uh, probably um 
uh, not that that easy and maybe it's also a bit uh, easier uh, from a way to to control a character uh, uh, in a in a violent uh, situation than in a sexual encounter okay and we have bugs in the last game so uh, we probably have to do a patch for that one. Okay. And with this topic, I would think we need some uh, some AI companions, otherwise. Uh, it will become uh, uh, quite a bit lonely so and maybe let's also do a bit of uh, of marketing um small campaign here and let's see what the e-gaming check has to say about our interview seems we are in line with uh, the majority of the uh, industry professionals with our approach maybe not with the topic but uh, from time to time you have to try out uh, something something new oh another interview Okay, that should help with the with the hype. So hopefully um, the game can live up to the uh, expectation. Uh, but currently, uh, young is the uh, strong audience here. But we will see. Uh, this can, of course, change until we are finished. And we'll probably will design um, not so important, uh, especially open world. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, maybe towards the end we can uh, put in a bit more of an effort from uh, Brandon and Bill. So we can finish off strong. And then, of course, we have to uh, fix all our bugs. Um, let's do a large boost. I think we went with a large one last time as well. Okay, bugs are gone. Uh, maybe a bit more points here and there and the convention happens i have no idea how many visitors we had last time but i think it was maybe around the same number so okay trans normalized and we go with the release. I think the hype just went over the top. But it still should be good. I think uh, uh, over 400, that's, that's a good thing. And we have some salary increases here. Now, some more research topics that we can do. So, how did we do with that game? Seven. 
Seven. Another seven. And a six. So, uh, well, it's probably not uh, a widespread topic. I think uh, it went um, it went reasonably well. So let's do that research topic that I wanted to do. Um, what was it? No loading screens, I think. And some training for Bill uh, in the design department. Um, you go on vacation quickly and then we can do our game engine. Okay. Our last game did considerably uh, better than uh, this one. But maybe we can learn something from here as well. Okay, so romance and RPG, not the greatest combination, but still okay. Yeah. Then let's do the next generation of game engine, which is surprisingly called SGE Sites Game Engine 4. And we will pack in the newest technology of everything. Um, I mean, we have branching story, so we can forget the linear story. Branching story is much better. Then we want online play, mod support, multi-platform optimized. That should give us uh, even a better uh, experience for the gamers. Then all these good things. Orchestral soundtrack. Um, then I don't think we need the, the standard soundtrack just to uh, save some money here as well and let's go and this will wreck us hopefully some more research points okay we sold one million Not too bad. Okay, engine complete. Our crew is a bit tired. So let's send them on vacation. Um, you can train. Let's do a research training. And after that, I think we will do another game. Um, so maybe, maybe we could do a sequel. Flight Simulator. That did pretty well. Okay. So 
so let's start on that one and of course it's large game flight simulator 2010 and we leave it as a simulation because we know that's that's a great thing and i think we will go with uh, mbox play system and uh, pc again use our newest engine and 3d graphics Okay, here we go, uh, story not so important, but um, engine more so, and especially uh, gameplay. And then let's use their boost power right at the start so they can regenerate till the end and uh, we can use it a second time um, then let's do a large marketing campaign because we know this topic that's it's a good combination um, so let's spend the money on marketing because the game will probably turn out well and simulation games are popular that plays in our favor. Definitely so. And here we probably have to switch some things around. Um, let me do the sound and Rolf can do the uh, the graphics and it's a bit more balanced um maybe for flight simulator we don't need a rich backstory but open world that might be cool and we can have orchestral soundtrack why not and there we go uh large boots of course we have quite a bit of, uh, of money here, so um, let's use it. And there they go again. I think last time it was 1,028,000. So a bit more and definitely a bigger hype this time. I think last game had a hype of 430 peak. Oh, 
let wait for the box to go and then release. New record here. I have a good feeling. Even if we have to pay two, three employees more money after that. But should be good. Should be good. Um, you do no, not research training. Training. Um, uh, you are already um, over 700. So let's make you a design specialist. But let's have the reviews first. It's a 9. And a 10. Another 9. And another 10. So that's even better than the uh, original. Okay. Uh, let's give the old engine away. Um, let's make him a technology specialist first. And that leaves us with um, a few research points open. So maybe let's invest... Uh, A bit here into new topics and we are on rank number one um, do a bit of training um, And game report here. And maybe I should do a bit of training myself. Okay. It was well received. Not very uh, surprising, though. We had several things going in our favor. Um... What does the game report tell us? Okay. Bit more background information. And no particular trends anymore. So we timed that quite well. So let's try to do another game. Maybe not a large one, but a medium one, because some of our crew is probably a bit tired. And a large one uh, might be um, a bit too much. Mad scientist. Um, maybe strategy. Crazy lab. Crazy lap. Right. Um, so uh, let's let's go with the same triple of uh, platforms. Um, but let's make this a two D game. Um, 
strategy I think is uh, uh, from the requirements uh, around here um, pretty similar to simulations so um, if we don't know better we can leave the uh, preset values Um, I would think sound is a bit more important than story and quest for a strategy game. But that's just my opinion. And as we get the answer here right away, I would assume that uh, the industry agrees. Um, yep. Yep, let's right struggle with this. And now you see they are getting a bit tired, which will affect uh, the uh, overall outcome. And doing this with a uh, with a large game, it's probably not uh, not the best idea. You just can't do. Um, um, you just can't do uh, uh, two large games without uh, them sending on vacation. Because if they get tired, the generated points here are just not that uh, plentiful. And uh, if you have uh, low values here, that will not be so good for a successful game. Well, I think we are at least on a good way so let's release it before the hype drops even further and we once again had good management uh, for a medium game with this crew size it's not that difficult um, but now before they have a burnout let's send them on vacation How did we do? A four. A four. A three. And another four. So either we really had some uh, uh, terrible, uh, made some terrible choices there, or it's just an effect of a tired crew. So, but the game report should tell us. Um, research. Let's do this one. Okay. Next convention. And once again, a few more visitors. And once we have the game report in our hand, we will know what's going on. Okay, mad scientist and strategy, terrible combination. That's probably the cause. And 
mbox uh, 360 strategy bad as well so two bad choices that's probably the reason why we did not be that successful as uh, hoped um, but sometime you have to try something new and with that that's all for today i hope to see you soon in the next episode of game dev tycoon until then goodbye <laughs>